This video is sponsored by L-Ring, DOS Original, sealing the OE and aftermarket with premium gaskets and sealing science for over 140 years. Do the job right and use the best. Visit lring.com. So you've just finished your LS. Everything's in it, everything's to spec, the crankshaft, the camshaft, the heads have gone down right, and now you're getting ready to seal it up. What should you be paying attention to? The one thing that's even been in TSPs from General Motors is block porosity. This is not a structural issue, it's more of an appearance on some of the mating surfaces for the gasket. What is a pour? Well, essentially it's a void that happens while the part's being cast. That part can essentially have a tiny hole and when it's machined down, it can get larger and larger or even smaller depending on how deep you go or where it's located. You need to look for these. If you see one, there's a couple of options. Sometimes you can get away with just RTV over those pores to help the gasket seal. In some cases, you might want to send it back to the machine shop, but you're always running the risk of exposing more pores and more voids. The most important thing to do is do not go after this with an abrasive disc to eliminate those pores. Chances are you're going to get an uneven surface and it's going to make it even harder for a gasket to seal. Pay attention to these, especially where the water pump and front cover go on the engine. So with this knowledge, well, you can seal up the engine and you'll know that it's not going to leak. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.